All right, guys. Cable guy Kim with you real quick. Want to give you an update. This is a uh, my workbench, if you want to call it that. It's uh, I still got some bracing to do on it, and I've got a piece of steel that's just about as wide and about four or five foot long that I'm gonna put on top of it where the uh, the belt sander and my grinder are gonna go. Of course, I'll have my drill press set up on this end down here. My belt sander and my buffer will be closer to this end and then I'll have my actual grinder here about where the toolbox is and still got plenty of room for other stuff you know for, for tools and stuff and I'm gonna put a little wall on the back of it you can see I've got it cut out so to speak let me get that fog off the, the lens there for you sorry about that y'all but you can see I've got a I took a board out where it would rest up against the, the trailer and not be in the way of this beam I'm gonna put a little wall up there so I can hang stuff on it this is like I said, just an old pallet that we got at work that long sheets of steel came in on and then the 4x4 four four posts that are under it were reclaimed as well from old pallets that's where I cut them down to make them a little bit better height it's just about waist high for me which is perfect height I hope you can see this at least I think you can see it if not you can see it's about waist high, so for me that's perfect for when I'm working with my my little Harbor Freight belt sander, or when I'm over here working with the buffer. Everything's good to go. Of course, the buffer will be mounted at a little bit of an angle here on the end, so that I can get larger items, you know, down here. Let's see. What so I'm saying I can get larger items down off either side of it. You can see it's in rough shape. It's been sitting out here. It got rained on a little bit, but it's still all right it's cheap harbor freight junk but hey it's been working for a lot of years well that's where we're at little by little we're getting it cleaned up of course i'll put all the camping gear and stuff and the welder and all will fit up under it i left it open up under the bottom so i can get all this stuff back up under it and then hopefully get a storage building here shortly here's one i've been uh working on for a few years a little yellow sterret hacksaw blade for a mechanical hacksaw that's my little kydex oven that I use for my kydex and stuff it'll be up there as well but that's where we're at right now y'all it's hot as all get out and muggy as a foggy morning in Ireland I reckon because it is muggy out here but little by little I'm getting it as money allows I go and buy what I need and you know nails aren't expensive but they ain't free so it took me a while to get the nails I needed to go from one four by four into another one, you know, I needed a good six inch nail to get a good bite on it so it'd be sturdy. But that's where we're at right now. Cable guy Ken, we'll catch you in the next.